With a wealth that surpassed imagination, Black Sam stands as the unrivaled champion of pirate culture, amassing an astonishing $120 million fortune that left even the most seasoned pirates in the dust. From his audacious raids on the high seas to his unexpected acts of mercy, his story is one of paradox and mystery. But as quickly as he ascended to the pinnacle of pirate glory, the tides of fate would turn with a destructing vengeance. A mere two months after acquiring his unimaginable treasure, tragedy would strike, leaving us to wonder, was it worth it? This is the story of Sam Bellamy, the $120 million pirate. Born in England in the late 17th century, Sam's life began far from the high seas. He was a family man who married his first love and dreamt of a peaceful life. However, fate had other plans. The early 18th century brought turbulent times, with piracy rampant in the Caribbean and along North America's eastern coast. Seeking adventure and better prospects, Bellamy joined the British Royal Navy. Navy life, with its harsh discipline, meager pay, and deplorable conditions, proved unbearable. Yet, it wasn't just the Navy's brutality that led him astray. The anger of freedom and unimaginable wealth drew Bellamy towards piracy. Pirates of that era promised riches beyond imagination. The turbulent geopolitical landscape, rife with conflicts, made piracy a tempting alternative. The line between legality and piracy blurred, propelling Bellamy to make a fateful decision. In the end, discontent, the seduction of wealth, and the chaos of the era led Samuel Bellamy to become Black Sam, one of history's most notorious and successful pirates. Once Samuel Bellamy had made the daring choice to forsake the British Royal Navy for a life of piracy, he embarked on a journey that would soon capture the world's imagination. He didn't immediately form his own crew. Instead, Black Sam joined the experienced pirate Benjamin Hornigold. The details of their initial meeting remain somewhat mysterious. Some accounts suggest that Bellamy, already a seasoned sailor with extensive knowledge of navigation and seamanship, caught Hornigold's eye. His expertise in handling ships made him an invaluable addition proving that he wasn't just an eager recruit but a capable sailor ready to embrace the pirate's life. Thanks to his demonstrated skills and swift adaptation to piracy, Bellamy quickly rose through the ranks within Hornigold's crew. Hornigold saw in him a kindred spirit and a potential leader. The appeal of adventure, the promise of plunder, and the camaraderie of pirate life not only drew Bellamy in, but also earned him the respect and trust of his fellow pirates. Together with Hornigold and their comrades, Bellamy embarked on daring raids, seizing merchant vessels loaded with valuable cargo. This period of his life provided first-hand knowledge of piracy, molding him into a capable and audacious pirate who would later command his own crew, amass unprecedented wealth, and gain notoriety. However, their partnership wouldn't last for long. Hornigold remained cautious as Bellamy's ambition grew, craving greater wealth and bolder raids, especially against British ships. This led to tension within Hornigold's crew. Eventually, Bellamy and like-minded pirates, unhappy with Hornigold's cautious approach, set out on their own. They sought thrilling exploits and greater fortunes under their own flag. Once Black Sam was the captain of his own crew, he showed a leadership style characterized by a unique blend of charisma, egalitarianism, and strategic thinking. He viewed his crew members as comrades rather than subordinates, fostering a sense of camaraderie and mutual respect. This approach not only cultivated loyalty among his men, but also encouraged them to follow him into daring exploits with unwavering dedication. One of Black Sam's earlier notable raids was on the trading hub of Nassau in the Bahamas. This daring attack sent shockwaves throughout the region, signaling his bold intentions as a pirate captain. Nassau was a stronghold for pirates, but Black Sam's audacity in targeting it demonstrated his readiness to challenge established pirate havens. In the dead of night, Black Sam's ship, now notorious along the Caribbean shores, crept toward Nassau. The moon played hide and seek behind clouds, casting eerie shadows on the calm waters. The anticipation among his crew was palpable, and the salty sea breeze carried whispers of adventure. As they closed in on the unsuspecting harbor, Black Sam's crew sprang into action. Cannons were readied and cutlasses gleamed in the dim light. They had studied the layout of Nassau meticulously, knowing which vessels held the most coveted treasures. The attack was swift and fierce. Black Sam's men stormed the harbor, overpowering any resistance with their sheer audacity and ferocity. Cannon fire roared, sending shockwaves through the night, and the clash of swords echoed through the narrow streets of Nassau. 
In the end, the pirates emerged victorious, laden with precious cargo and chests overflowing with plundered riches. The thrill of the raid and the taste of success were intoxicating, but this was just the beginning for Black Sam. You see, it was the capture of the wider galley that would go down in history as his crying achievement. This event would not only secure his legacy as one of the most successful pirates, but also reveal the staggering wealth he had amassed. The wider galley was no ordinary vessel. It was a massive, heavily armed, and formidable slave ship carrying not only valuable cargo in the form of slaves, but also a vast treasure trove. Black Sam and his crew, renowned for their audacity and cunning, chose their moment wisely to strike this extraordinary prize. And so, in late February 1717, in a ruthless and calculated assault, Black Sam's crew overpowered the wider's defenders and seized control of the ship. The capture of this massive vessel was an incredible feat in itself, but what lay within its holes would truly astound the world. The wider Ghani's cargo included an immense wealth of treasures, ranging from gold and silver coins to jewelry, precious gemstones, and a vast assortment of trade goods. The total value of their haul was staggering, with estimates placing it at around $120 million in today's currency, an astronomical sum that would make Black Sam the richest pirate in history. As they opened the cargo holds, the pirates were met with a dazzling display of opulence. Glittering jewels sparkled in the lantern light, and chests of gold coins gleamed like the sun on the horizon. The air was heavy with the scent of adventure and riches, and the pirates could hardly believe their good fortune. But it wasn't just the treasure that made the wider galley capture legendary, it was also the fate of its captors. Black Sam made the unorthodox decision to release the enslaved Africans aboard the ship, providing them with a chance at freedom. This act of mercy set him apart from many other ruthless pirates of his time and added an element of complexity to his character. Amidst the celebration and revelry of their newfound wealth, Black Sam's crew witnessed an act of compassion that would forever define their captain. The enslaved Africans who had endured unimaginable suffering were set free by Black Sam's decree. It was a moment that blurred the lines between the ruthless pirate and the man beneath the black flag. Black Sam's decision added a layer of complexity to his legend, a pirate with a heart that could still find mercy in the midst of fortune. But with the wider now under his control and $120 million to his name, Black Sam's meteoric rise took a turn for the worse. In April 1717, just two months later, the wider galley, now under Black Sam's command, encountered a violent cyclone off the coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The relentless storm, with ferocious winds and towering waves, proved too much for the heavily laden ship to withstand. The once proud pirate flagship was doomed. The storm raged with relentless fury, as if the very forces of nature sought to reclaim the ill-gotten wealth that Black Sam had amassed. The ship, now laden with unimaginable riches, battled the tempest in vain. The crew fought valiantly to keep her afloat, but it was a battle they couldn't win. As the wider galley was mercilessly battered by the storm, it foundered and ultimately met a watery grave, sinking to the ocean's depths. The ship, laden with its immense treasure, took Black Sam, his crew, and their ill-gotten wealth with it. The ocean, once a source of adventure and riches, had become a relentless adversary, swallowing Black Sam's dreams and ambitions in its unforgiving embrace. Black Sam's tale of audacious raids and staggering wealth has etched his name into the annals of piracy as the richest pirate in history, worth over $120 million, an unparalleled fortune that has fueled legends and stirred the imagination. But as we marvel at the riches he amassed, we are compelled to ask, at what cost? The echoes of cannon fire have faded, the storm-tossed seas have calmed, yet the enigmatic allure of Black Sam's life still beckons us. In the pursuit of boundless treasures, what sacrifices were made? What price did he pay for his place in infamy? Leak your answers in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this fascinating story, check out this video on the brutal life of a pirate. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious.